Um, so another problem that we've had that I've talked about already is that we have people walking around with Chiari who don't have symptoms. So if that exists, and if that's fairly common, it kind of calls into question whether or not the Chiari by itself is causing symptoms. And these are kids here we're talking about in this study. So what does the research tell us? Well, the research tells us something interesting. It basically says that if you've got Chiari plus something else, that's what's causing symptoms. So that's the nuance I was talking about before, right? It's not just the Chiari thing. It's the Chiari thing plus something else that is probably causing symptoms. So what you need to realize is that this theory about what's going on, and it was published in a very well, uh, very respected journal, really argues against Chiari decompression in most patients because the status of this muscle is what we should be paying attention to, not the Chiari itself when it comes to symptoms. But what we know so far is that it's Chiari plus something else that equals symptoms. So if you've got Chiari, you want to treat the something else first because that's much less invasive and the de decompression would come last. So again, the research is pointing us in a direction showing that decompression shouldn't really be the first thing we do in these patients, that we should be doing things like trying to make the muscle better or things like trying to reduce the instability without surgery, not decompressing first. 